Hello everybody. As you can see behind me it's snowing outside and I'm about ready to go outside and what some people may call work but I call play. And before I do that I want to light a hand warmer. These, uh, some people, I have several as you can see and some people may think that I have an obsession with hand warmers but shh, that's okay Sasha. They don't know what they're talking about. We'll just put this one right in here for now. These little hand warmers, they run on a liquid fuel. And uh, while I usually run on a different kind of liquid fuel, this really isn't that responsible for when you have kids in the house. So these are little hand warmers. These are made by Aladdin Labs. This particular kind on these four over here are called Johnny hand warmers. They're more of a name brand. These are the Johnny standards. Actually, I take it back. This one's an imposter. This one is a, a made in Hong Kong Phoenix Star. Phoenix Star. Um, actually works really well. This is one of my longest running ones. I get about 12 or so, 10 to 12 hours out of a full charge on these standards. Um, and this one's still going from yesterday afternoon. So this is a Johnny GI, significantly larger than the standard, as you can see. This one puts out a lot of heat and lasts for a long time. These have no markings on them. I got these off a uh, popular auction-based website, not to mention any names, but it rhymes with Flea Bay. These uh, don't have any markings on them. They don't say where they were made. Um, they don't say anything, but they work really well. The only problem I have with this particular kind is it has a rounded base. They don't stand up on their own. And you'll see later in this video how it's kind of nice to have them to be able to stand up when you're doing the initial lighting and getting those catalysts to really burn. What the manufacturer recommends is that you use a naphtha-based naphtha fuel, uh, camping fuel or the Aladdin, um, the Johnny fuel, the Zippo fuel. Uh, me, personally, I, I don't buy into that because that stuff's pretty expensive. I just go down to your local home improvement store, the kind, either the kind with the orange racks um, or the, the, other, the other one, the other big one that the name rhymes with blows. And you can get them in quartz. It's a V, M, and P naphtha. And this thinner is uh, actually what all the other thinners are based on. That's, this is what it is. So just cut out the middleman, go out and get some naphtha thinner. This is a quart, costs about five bucks at that orange store I was previously talking about. And it works really well. You can use it indoors, it doesn't smell. Um, little smell. My wife's pretty sensitive to smells and sometimes she uh, doesn't like it, but what are you going to do? doesn't smell. If you want to buy it in gallons, you can buy it in gallons. Ace Hardware has them for about $12, uh, $10.99 for a gallon of this stuff. Or you can go to a paint store, Kelly Moore, Benny Moore, any of those places, Dunn Edwards, and uh, they sell them by the gallon in a paint store. I'll show you how. Now, if you're fortunate enough to buy these brand new, you get these cute little velvet pouches that they drop in, and um, you don't want to handle these. Once they get going, they get hot enough to where you don't want to handle them with your bare skin because they will burn you. Uh, most of these I didn't get bags with, so I got out my stitching machine, and yes, I do so, and I made these little pouches. Now, these little pouches are made with a cotton, um, just like an 80-20 cotton poly blend. You don't want to use nylon for your pouches because they will burn. You don't want to get them too close to your nylon jackets, unprotected because they will burn. And you'll notice I have little loops. I have several of these guys. I have little loops in the top, and I, now, I'm not the originator of this idea but I have seen people do this, is I'll clip it onto a lanyard, I'll drop the heater once it's lit, clip it on a lanyard, and then I'll hang it around my neck. Uh, like my cover all my overalls, for example, I'll drop it back behind here, and it just warms up the core of your body. It's really nice when you're not playing in the snow, um, or working, depending on who you're talking to. So if you're not fortunate enough to buy these things brand new, and I didn't buy any of these brand new, you don't get the little funnel that they come with. They come, a lot of them come with little funnels that fit right into this little opening. This is the wick, this is the burner. And uh, it's very difficult to pour this thinner into here. But once again, being creative here, this is a cap to a deodorant stick. And it takes about, on these standard size, it takes about one and a half of these caps of fluid to fill these full. You get roughly 12 hours worth of fluid. And I'll show you how that happens. You fill it with fluid, most of the way. Do it over a piece of paper because it's, it's going to make a mess. You can, And you dip it in, you just simply dip it in like this and you want to come in at an angle. If you come in straight down like this, it gets an air bubble under there and it doesn't, it just doesn't get into the wicking material. If you have one of these cheap knockoffs where the sides are kind of thin, you can squeeze them and it squeezes out the air bubbles. This is a Johnny which is a little heavier gauge material so it doesn't squeeze. But you put them in sideways like this, 
and then as you can see it, I don't know if you could see it, but uh, it's getting absorbed in there. And that's that. Now when you pull them out, what you want to be careful is, you want to kind of shake them out because you don't want to have wet I take a, a napkin and I dry it. You want to shake it out because you don't want to get the fuel on your on your element. Well, that wick, or, uh, not the wick, the burner will get damaged if it gets fuel on it. So you dry it off, you shake it out, make sure you don't get any drops on it. Make sure it's all nice and dry. You clip your little burner head in. Take your handy dandy Zippo lighter. Now let me show you another thing that's pretty handy with these Johnnies. Some of them, this particular Johnny, well as you know I like old things. Um, I like this particular Johnny is date stamp 1979. I like old hand warmers, I like old cars, um, old tractors, and uh, some even say I like my women a little bit older. Hey! Hey! Sorry, honey. Uh, so this particular older one has a wick. It's got a little wick that sticks out there. I don't know if you can see that too well. Maybe you can see it better on the GI. The GI's got a wick right here. Now there's no fuel in the GI, so I'm not going to light that one right now. But you take your big, you take your lighter, and you can see that, and you just set it, and you give it a bit lights for several seconds. But the other way, if you don't have a lick, is you, a wick, is you take your lighter, and then you want to heat the body. This takes, well, it really depends on the temperature. If your thinner's really cold, or your lighters are, or your uh, hand warmers are really cold, it takes a while to get the thinner to the point the naphtha to the point where it's evaporating because you're not actually burning the thinner, the catalyst or this uh, burner on top is actually burning the vapors which is why you don't want to use uh, hotter thinner, lacquer thinners don't work well at all, that's too hot and you'll actually have problems ruining your element and then heavier thinners like kerosene or mineral spirits or gasoline they don't work well because they just don't vaporize well but the naphtha seems to work pretty well and you want to heat up the body as well as your catalyst, your burner. Do this for several seconds. I don't even know. I was talking. I wasn't counting. So let's see. And that's actually lit already. I can feel the heat. Sometimes you can kind of speed the process along by uh, leaving it on there a little bit longer. You really won't hurt it. Because once this whole thing gets hot, once it lights, and it's been going for a while. The base, everything gets nice and hot. Okay, that's lit. So the nice thing, here's where I was talking about earlier where the nice thing about the base is you set it and you just set it on the table for just several minutes. It allows that catalyst to get nice and hot. You get a real good reaction. The heat to the catalyst. And this is the one with the wick. And if you really are in a hurry to get this going, you can you can turbocharge it by burning both sides of the catalyst. Once again, you won't hurt it. Things are pretty cold in here. Oh, this one's already lit. So that's it. Put your lid on it, and you let it set and burn. Now this one, for example, my little Hong Kong knockoff, still warm. It's not quite as warm as it is when it's full, because I can already feel that it's starting. But you just drop it in, well, I drop it in one of these guys my little homemade pouches here. You clip it. Man, I'm having a wardrobe malfunction here. Well, this lanyard is kind of, I've got a better one with a better clip, but you clip it and you put it around your head. There you go. They all pretty much do the same thing. Thanks for watching.